Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, we're going to be talking about SCR, uh, score media and gaming going, you know, going listing on the NASDAQ. So just recently, not too long ago, they announced initial public offering in the United States. They are planning to legal, uh, they plan to capitalize on the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ. And this is really, really good news for luck. Because uh, if you know if they are planning to list on the New York Stock Exchange, that means that Luck will eventually list on the New York Stock Exchange, in my opinion. And uh, this pullback, you know, I don't like. I, like right now, the market is crashing or doing a correction. But uh, you know, I think that Luck is um, a prime candidate to. Um, you know, get list on the New York Stock Exchange. I mean, like, Luck is going to try to list on the New York Stock Exchange. If Score Media is listing on the New York Stock Exchange, Luck will, you know, attempt to list on the New York Stock Exchange too. I mean, if I was the CEO of Luck, I would be, like, totally trying to list on the New York Stock Exchange. So, we'll see what happens in the future. But if that does happen, that would be very, very exciting. Um... Luck already has a super tight float, while Score Media had to reduce their float to increase the share price, so then they can easily list on the New York Stock Exchange. While Luck doesn't need that because they already, uh, they already have a very tight float structure. So, uh, if the market, I don't know if, you know, I don't know if. The market will, but if the market, as I mean rich people, aka rich people, decide to pump this stock to the moon so they can list on the NASDAQ, I would make a lot of money. I'm going to gamble on that fact. I'm not selling my shares. I don't really have a huge position with luck, uh, but I do plan to build my position and I'm hoping that the stock price goes below a dollar so I can buy some more shares. But will it? I don't know. Only time will tell. Uh, so we'll see what happens. I I don't plan to sell even though there's a chance it might go like close to close to like a dollar. I may make a position, but uh, that's my plan moving forward. Uh, fans, fans is also uh, getting uh, fans is also another esports play. Not too long ago, Brendan Beavis made a video about fans, and it got 16k views. But what happened, the stock still plummeted anyways. So the fact that it's a penny stock and the fact that he talked about it and, uh, you know, Brendan Beavis also commands a huge amount of following, uh, 16K views, 407 views. Um, not everyone is going to buy fans, but that gave fans a huge amount of exposure, like a huge amount of exposure. So, uh, you know, I'm thinking, like, that's why I'm saying that retail investors don't control the market. It's big money, because if that was true, fans would go up. But instead, after he made the video, it started to just keep going down and down and down and down. Now it's sitting at $1.81. I, granted, the market is in a correction phase slash maybe crash phase. I don't know at the end of the day. But, uh, you know, Luck and fans uh, is probably going to, you know, attempt to list on the New York Stock Exchange in, sometime in the future, in my opinion only. So, so fans got halted. And, yeah, fans got halted. That's interesting. There's no news on it, though. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so... That's very interesting. Uh, I'm very, you know, I'm, uh, I'm not planning to buy fans. I want to buy Luck because Luck has a much smaller market cap than fans, and I and it has a really light tight share structure. So that's why I'm camping Luck. But if you guys like fans and you uh, you think fans is better investment than Luck, I mean, power to you, right? Like I'm not here to pump just my stock. I don't really care. I just choose luck because I think luck has um has a tighter sh share structure and it has a smaller market cap and logically it should be the better investment because it's half the price of fans so 
but sometimes logic doesn't doesn't do well in the markets uh, rich people pump what they want so rich people want to bump fans or maybe fan is like the better investment and it deserves to have the double market cap and it has deserves to be a higher uh, market uh, higher valuation than luck I don't know at the end of the day it's you know market cap is determined by money big money pumping the stock so big money wants to make fans you know 300 million dollars and luck just stay at 60 million dollars then that's what it will do so i don't know at the end of the day but uh i'm buying luck that's my choice but uh yeah and brendan beavis is a pretty big channel it's this uh yeah brendan beavis channel is um my canadian speculative stock so he made a video on fans so yeah anyways uh today lordstown is down uh 6.57 percent the spy is down 0.28 percent uh as we can see the macd is doing a death cross i mean it could just revert itself the death cross could be over and the stock could go back up again or uh, the thing could go back up again or maybe we could see this thing go all the way down below the purple line the 50 day moving average then bounce or we could see you know this big crash right here with the spy going all the way down to 228 so we'll see what happens but you know this is a correction this is a pretty big correction here and then this is a pretty big correction so I, I really feel like this correction is not over yet. I feel like we're going to dip massively in the short term. Uh, but hey, you know, this is my opinion and uh, not financial advice. We'll see what uh, the market does. Uh, high Tide, for some reason, is really green today. Up 9 cents, 12.86%. Uh, no idea why, but uh, I'm a shareholder, so I'm happy. Um, I was hoping it would go down to 50 cents. Maybe that 60 cents mark would have been huge buying opportunity. Too late now. Oh well. I mean the market is still crashing. So there's still a possibility that this stock could go down. Could be volatile. TAT is uh, down 49 cents right now. $4.91. Uh, Bitcoin is down uh, $5,711. The overall market right now is, uh, you know, bad. But if we look at Bitcoin's charting too, it looks really scary. It's made a death cross, uh, and it broke the middle of the Bollinger Band, and it looks like a falling knife right now. I mean, it could bounce, but I think that Bitcoin is going to go down further. That is my opinion. You guys can do whatever you want, but from a charting perspective, it looks like Bitcoin is going to fall further. So we'll see what happens. Uh, CFII today is down eight cents. AMC Entertainment today is up a dollar oh nine. CCIV is down eighteen dollars and nine cents. Uh, Hut uh, Hut is down three dollars and forty seven cents. CCIV is down eighteen dollars and fourteen cents. Uh, Bit Farms is down two dollars and fifteen cents, twenty six point six seven percent. Giga Meadows is down uh, seven cents right now, and uh, AABB is down forty two point two eight percent. T GIF is uh, down ten uh, a penny right now, but. Uh, Anyways, that is it for my video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.